right? This is decay of current in an LR circuit. So they give you this nice picture over here and they say that the switch is initially connected so the voltage is running through it and that at t equals zero they go ahead stop that switch so all the voltage in it stops um, at t equals zero stops running through it um, and then the first question asked you is what happens to the voltage across the inductor and the current through the inductor relative to the values prior to t equals zero so Like we just said, at um, t equals zero, they throw the switch. So the voltage changes slowly or quickly because they just cut it off, completely stops. It's very abrupt. Now the current is gonna change much slower. And when you get it right, this is the paragraph right here that they tell you, um, which basically just says that the inductor is the thing that keeps the current moving. Um, it keeps it flowing because when it starts to stop, they have something that counteracts it. There's the paragraph if you want to read that. And then let's look at B. What is the differential equation satisfied by the current I of t after time equals zero? So one of the equations you're going to find in your textbook is this right here. Um, and this is for the rate of change of current. Now, when after t equals zero, they cut off EMF. So this is gone. So your answer is this, but we don't just have an I, like they said, we have an I of T. So that is your answer for B. For C, it's the expression for the actual I of T, not the rate of change. This is once again, another equation that you're just going to find directly in your textbook. Um, you kind of just have to read that is the current decay in an RL circuit. But this is your answer for C. Once again, just straight from the textbook. And then D is asking what the time constant is. And this is another equation straight from the textbook. That's your whole thing. This whole um, question is mostly just textbook things. You just have to read it.